I'll show you my real bad shot. Yeah. I can actually demonstrate it. Right. I feel I'm coming over the top at times and then, then I'll fight to stay behind it. Yeah. And then... Hmm. No worries. So from the session then, like, as we were talking about, you, what would you like? Well, I'd like to avoid that shot. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to get back to striking the ball the way I know I can. Okay. Um, you know, I mean... The tendency is to hit a pull hook yeah. and a, a thin okay. rather than... I don't normally... No worries. See, they're very clean, aren't they? Mm. You see, some of those, you might think, if you never hit decent shots, were half decent. I'm not talking about the ones that roll along the floor. But I know the difference between... What a good shot feels like. Another. Exactly. It's not. You know what you're capable of. See, I mean that, that game play. But I, the honest truth is, I've always got my pleasure out of ball striking. Yeah. See what a feeling I get sometimes, mostly yeah. with the driver, is like this. I mean, the shot that worries me as much as anything is the one left. Yeah, full draw. I mean, I do. I mean, sometimes they're a better strike. What do you do to try and rectify that? Mostly aim. I mean, I've got some premium golf balls in my golf bag. You know, but I don't use it. And then they're, they're coming with this sort of thing, you know. Because <laughs> it, just to keep it in place. It's just too late with the pressure, so. On, on the left foot? Yeah, so if you watch here, at this moment, when you get to the top here now. I mean, you're swinging back and then you start to shift, which is great. Hi guys, we're going back to Turkey, to the glorious Serenity Resort. It's a five-star golf resort and we're there in April from the 21st to the 24th. It's four days of coaching and playing with myself and Fars and one of the GRF staff and five nights at the fantastic Serenity five-star resort. If like me, you're fancying a bit of guaranteed sun, be sure to join us, but be quick because there's one space left and we hope to see you join the group. But that pressure should be shifting a lot earlier. Okay. So the pressure's just hanging back and the graph therefore is more, there's a lot of area under the graph that wants to be sharper, more of right. like a heartbeat. So there's a more of a, an impulse of yeah. load, unload, but it's taking too long. There's no real push off. So when you're unloading, you're pushing off your back foot to do it, not off, not really off your front foot. So you're not really loading into the front foot and then pushing off. You're almost pushing off your right foot and going forward. So what this does, Ian, is we're pushing off the right foot. And what that does, if I can borrow your claw, when you're pushing off the right in this way, that's sending the pressure forward. What it's doing to your body is it's doing this. Yeah, sort of, hence the bad back. Hence, or right back. Yeah. Crunch. Whereas if we're shifting into the left and then using the left to push, yes, we are getting some rotation, but it's not as excessive. So with a big shift of the pelvis and yeah. the tilt back, and that's bringing the low point back, and it's shallowing you out too much. And, and that can result in a heavy or heavy or heavy or thin and lower strikes. Yeah. You're going back, and this shaft it's harder to rotate the body in the transverse plane because you're moving back this way. So it's, you're basically locking out. So that's what I finished. That's what I finished up there. So. You're locking out your facets. So basically, basically now it's all a bit stuck. You've hit end range basically. A lot of side bend early. It just limits your rotation here. You've already used it up because you're really powering yourself when you push off with your right leg. You're not using, you're not using that left side, left leg extension. So you're missing out on uh, a lot of push off with the left side. Yeah with your lead side. Power leaks and power leaks and bad strikes. So we'll do some profile then, we'll go on the balance pads. I want to look at you why your body's not using its left side. So we can get that left foot going back and forth more. Drive it with your knee, that left side. That's it. So going forward and back. Good. Now with that action, keep going in and twist your hips now, twist your belt buckle. So now, twisting your belt buckle back to the wall this way and then twisting it through but not with the shoulders. Keep hold of the club, hold that with both hands. Hold it there, I've got you. That doesn't move, but I want you to twist your hips. They're not twisted, they're not rotating. Okay. So we've got to recognise what rotation is. 
Okay. On the pads. So keep your grip firm, because I'm going to hold you. Just point your belt buckle at this wall. Yeah. That's better. Yes. There you go. Just stand there and use the feet to twist the hips. That's better. Hold this club here like you just did. But isolate. Can you feel how your lower body is disassociated? Yeah. So your body has created the swing. There you go. Hold it with just your right hand and do it. Yes, you, you initiated on the way back with your, there we go, did you feel that? Yeah. That's it, so you open up back on the, for the lower body first. Really open up your hips and it, then it throws the, it opens up the chest and then the club reacts on the way back. Yes, there you go. Yes, fantastic. So you're throwing it back with the lower body first. Brilliant. So we're able to move the body and the club in different directions. Yes. Instead of it all being too closely yeah. connected, all moving together, yeah. you can separate. No breath though. Yeah, was, <laughs> you're doing really good. It is like a workout, that's why we pace it as well. Yeah. Just have a couple of shots, just playing around, just letting yourself swing, and use your left side. That wasn't quite. I'm just holding you finish. This is more of a nervous system training exercise. So not thinking about the shots so much, just let yourself explore your movement. Can you twist the feet, the hips? Can you feel that back and through? Nice, and hold your finish. Nice, well done. Just being able to just first of all recognize that this is safe for you to go there and you can, you can push into that, you can push into that place and embrace. That was excellent, well done. So you can actually start to accelerate and stop quick to let this go. Because that left side is there to be, to be used. And then stay in that space there, hold it there, don't move. Keep your grip, keep your grip, keep your grip, keep your grip. Let this travel. Just let it go. Just... Yeah, just let your elbows soften. And your neck, and your shoulders, it's all... This is just, just relax your shoulders. There you go, just, just roll your shoulders for me. Pick, just shrug them up and roll them back. Big circles back. There you go, that's what I want, that's what I want. Left shoulder two, big circles, big circles, that's it. Tap your right foot. That's it, and roll up now, find that place. Now just roll your shoulders. Good. Okay. So we're just telling the body, have a swing now. Letting yourself use that space. Awesome, well done. Different feeling? Yes. Still not letting it go, am I? No, but that's good. Now stay on your left side, let's train the left side. This is your drop and your pop. Drop, internal rotation, drop, drop, drop. You're loading into this four foot, sorry for tapping it, but there you go. And now you'll pop the hip by springing up from the toe. Just go straight up to the ceiling. Pop. Good. Because we would, we want this, we want you as far in front of that golf ball as possible before you pop. So twist that foot in and you can get as far in front of that golf ball. It won't go to the target. We're not trying to switch to the target, but we're just trying to get up. That's it. That was fantastic. That's your extensor chain. I can see the spring. I can see the spring from here, through the ankle, through the knee, through to the hip. Perfect. You pop it from the toe. Twist it in and spring up. Brilliant. There's no intention to try and copy any feeling you've had from the exercises. Literally just swing into a finish. The most important thing is, for us at this moment in time, is if I ask you to stand on your left leg at the end, when you're here, could you, do, could you do it even without the rock? Could you just stand there, okay? Afterwards. So after you've hit the shot, could you stand on that left side? Could you raise your left foot off the right foot and stay there? Good. Just to let the body know this left side is actively engaged. Well done. Well done. Different feel? Yeah. Better strike. It is, yeah. You grab your body's gradually allowing you, you're inviting it in, and it's gradually accepting that invitation to start to use the left side. Lovely. So we've now got a chance to do what we want to do with some sequencing. Well, that's beautiful, well played. Some lag on that. About 15 yards further. Yeah, yeah there's some, you, you could see. Mm, lovely sound. 
Tutaj są. Coś tylko pomoże.